All right, so this video we're going to look at finding the volume of a pyramid with a rectangular bottom. All right, so here is a sketch of a rectangular pyramid. You see the bottom is a rectangle, and then we have the sides of the pyramid. So the volume is one-third times capital B times H, where capital B is the length times width. Okay, length times width. Basically, all this means is that we are finding the area here of the base. Okay, we're taking the area of the base, that's B, and then we're multiplying it times one third the height. An another way you might see this formula written is V equals uh, length times width times height over three. That's another way you could look at it. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at our example. So it says the volume. Find the volume of the rectangular pyramid whose length is five centimeters, width is two centimeters, and height eight centimeters. So if I make a sketch of this, I'll just we'll just make a rough sketch here. All right, it's, I know it's not going to be anything spectacular here. Okay, so there we go. So we have the length is 5 centimeters. That's the length. The width is 2 centimeters. And the height, that's from the top all the way down. So that's H is 8 centimeters. Okay. So remember our formula is area is equal to one third capital B times H or we can look at it as area is length times width times height over 3. Okay. Either one's correct. If we use this formula we would just have to do another step to find capital B, which that would be 5 times 2, which is 10, and then we would plug that into the formula. Okay. So, I mean, we'll go ahead and just plug it into this formula. It's the same thing. So, we get area is the length, which is 5, times the width, which is 2, times the height, which is 8, over 3. And so this gives us, well, that's 10 times 8 is 80 over 3, and that would be cubic centimeters. Remember, volume deals with cubic. If it was area, it would be square centimeters. Now, remember, another way that we can write cubic centimeters is we could write centimeters cubed. Either way. All right, so then if this right here would be leaving it as a fraction. If we wanted to, we could uh, punch that into our calculator and get a decimal answer. So that would be 26 point, and I'll round it to one decimal place, centimeters. Okay. All right, so we can either leave it like this, or you can leave it like this. Either way is fine. Okay. So I hope this video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos. All right, thanks for watching.